guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to root an LG Access LTE phone. Uh, mine is run on Straight Talk, but uh, I guess it really doesn't matter what kind of service provider you go with. But uh, if my damn camera would focus, uh, as you can see that right there, that weird symbol, if I can get the damn thing to focus, is... Uh, that is towel root and that is the root application that you would need to download in order to root your phone what is rooting you may ask rooting is basically jailbreaking for androids uh, now what you want to do is you want to download towel root and when you go to google look for towel root by geohot and when you click on the uh, website should be the first website you will click that symbol right there it's the uh, half-life symbol you cl you'll click on that and then uh, it'll begin downloading immediately and uh, on an LG access LTE it'll tell you um, once you download it the file will download you click on the file and it'll ask you if you want to install it and basically what pops up is a Windows that says do not install this file and it'll say OK or install anyways. And you click check mark the little box that tells you, you know, to get rid of these extra messages. And then you tap the install anyway. And once you install, you will see this. And that bar right there says make it rain. And basically what that what that does is it roots your phone. And you tap the make it rain once. And what you want to do next is go to Google Play and get the Root Checker app and then you pull up the Root Checker and as you can see verify root status and so verify root and then okay it's asking my uh, thing if I wanna but yeah, anyways, as you can see, there's root status on my phone. So my phone has been successfully jailbroken. And uh, what you want to do after you get root uh, towel root and root checker, what you want to do is get super sue, and it looks like that. Get the free version. The pro version doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Uh, and then after that, you want to get busy box installer and lucky patcher. Now, Lucky Patcher, what Lucky Patcher does, Lucky Patcher is freaking awesome because it'll sit there and you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to break down all your free apps. Like, you got something like, say, Crunchyroll, for example, which spams the crap out of, out of the anime that you watch with ads. And nobody likes to watch fucking ads, let's be honest here. So what you do is you go into Lucky Patcher, which I will do now, and then... See, it's got a list, right? And as you can see, like BitTorrent, Google Ads found, license verification found, in-app purchases. And what you want to do is say you have, there's Crunchyroll. And now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of the ads. So, open menu of patches, and then remove Google Ads, turn off Google Ad services. And then you'll get this message. It says please wait and it'll load and it takes a little bit of time sometimes but it works and it'll get rid of the ads sometimes it doesn't exactly work because lucky patcher and tower root and all these others they are uh um they're technically not uh not part of the google play store so i mean they will not be on the Google Play Store because, you know, the manufacturers of the phones and the Android programming and blah, 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 blah. They don't want you rooting your phone. And what rooting does is it basically makes your phone able to do more things. Like, for example, you see that 6-axis controller there. Basically what that is is if I hook up my phone to a computer, I can basically hook a PlayStation 3 controller to my phone and use it to play video games on my phone those being the video games got the 64 you know the neo geo the old boy game uh game boy and then the super nintendo and the 
Sega, and then the uh, regular NES, and then the Game Boy Advance, you know, I could play all those with the PlayStation controller using the 6-axis controller, but the 6-axis controller requires rooting to your phone, so, you know, there's just, that, that's just one of the examples, there's a whole endless list of possibilities you can, you can use, you know, with that, 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 you know, those five apps right there. You know, and again, it's Lucky Patcher, Towel Root, Root Checker, Super Sue, Busy Box Installer. Those are the five apps that you want. And uh, remember, that's Towel Root by GeoHot. That's the one that you want. And Lucky Patcher, it really doesn't matter what version you download because when you find it, it'll ask you if you want to update every time, and you can update. And, uh,. You know, I've been using these apps for a little while, and they're really, really good, so I recommend that you check them all out, and, you know, just, uh, now once again, Towel Root works for most, most LG phones. Uh, I also had a Samsung phone that I rooted, but in order to root a Samsung, I had to use an app called Poot, that's P-O-O-T, and... That one works for my Samsung phone, and Tower Root did not. So, I mean, you just just mess around with them. You'll find out, you know, which apps work best. Uh, Tower Root is recommended for damn near every single LG phone on the market. While, uh, you know, Poot is... I don't really know what Poot is for, but it worked for my Samsung. So, you know, if you got a Samsung phone, try it on that. And once again, I am not responsible if any of you root your phones and then end up turning them into bricks. Basically, that's what call that's what's called bricking. If if all of your apps just stop working and your phone becomes a useless brick, that's what's called bricking, and that is what happens if you fail trying to root your phone. So Please, I urge you, before you do any of this, to look up what rooting does, read up extensively on it, and get to know it, and learn everything you can, and for the love of God, have a backup phone, because uh, this is my last phone, I'm recording this with my new phone, so, you know, every previous phone I own, I root, so, just, uh, you know... Pay very close attention to the do's and don'ts of rooting, and be very, very careful because you can turn your phone into a brick, and you don't want a $600 brick sitting in your pocket because it's useless, and uh, trying to come back from bricking your entire phone is really, really hard to do, because uh, once you try to root the phone or jailbreak or anything like that, you basically void the warranty, so you cannot send it in, because they will tell you, well, you voided the warranty, and you're fucked, so just be careful what you're doing, and, you know, I hope this, uh, hope this little video helped, and, uh, thanks for watching, y'all, goodbye.